How's it going guys? Welcome back to Discovery. Uh, today we're actually going to be looking at this. This is the Duca Bike Clear Clutch, which I'm going to be fitting on my XD Avel here. So let's check it out. Right guys, so here is the Duca Bike uh, Clear Clutch for the XD Avel. You've probably seen some of these already around, but I've actually ordered this as the official kit. Um, I'll put the link in the description where you want to get it from. Comes with some uh, pamphlets in there, you know, what you can expect to uh, get. So, you know, some other, you know, extra bits and stuff. So basically, I've got the full kit. So here's all the spare bolts that you get, because you're going to need new bolts in there to match the colours. This is the, um, the pressure ring that goes in the middle of the pressure plate. So I've got it here. I'll go for the black and silver theme, because you know, the XD Avel's black and silver. You get some Duca bike stickers as well. Um, I'm not really going to be putting them on the bike, but uh, nice that they include them. So I've gone for the silver clutch cover ring. So this is the uh, silver version. Comes with this nice kind of like, I think it's like anodized kind of aluminum kind of style. Uh, made in Italy, Duca bike special parts and all that kind of stuff. This is a clear perspex window, but at the moment it's got a protector on it. That's why it looks like that. Uh, so you get that. And here we have the pressure plate. So it comes, you know, I've got it in black with the silver accents. Uh, so let's just take this out here so I look at it. So yeah, you can buy it as a kit and you get it a bit cheaper if you buy it as a kit. Um, so let's have a look what we've got. So yeah, that's the uh, Duca bike uh, pressure plate. So the idea is that this uh, spring retainer stays in the middle like that. That's how, how it's going to work. The idea, and then you've got the main piece. I'm going to pull this out. So this is actually the clutch, uh, clear clutch housing. Quite a nicely machined piece. Very cool. And it comes with this old ring and stuff. Everything you need. Oh, that just fell off. Falling off. Everything you need in there. Got a little window for you. Uh, gauge and all that kind of stuff. So you get all that with it. Very nice. Now to be honest, what kind of prompted me to buy it as well is I had this problem with the uh, XD Avel clutch. Let's see if I can just. But can you see here? There, the paint has started flaking on the clutch cover, which is a bit fail, isn't it? Like. And um, yeah, I don't know why, but it's, it's starting to play. You can see like around there as well, it's like bubbling. And it's like, well, you could get a new one of these, which will probably cost you about 250, 300 quid anyway. Or, you know, go the whole hog and go for the Duca bike, which lo looks loads better. And it's not painted, it's anodized, so it'll look loads better, but it's gonna look sweet on that um, once that comes off. But yeah, bubbling paint on the engine cover. It's not even that old. So I don't know what that's about. Adam from AG Motorcycles has come over from Manchester to help me install this for me today. He also covers the North West, um, so give him a shout, the link's in the description if you want to know where he's from, if you want some motorcycle work done. But here's a time lapse of the build.
Now, you once you install it, there will be some condensation buildup on the inside of the window. So what you need to do is take the bike out for a good long uh, spin and get the uh, heat in the engine and the oil uh, up to temperature and then the condensation will go off. So that's what I'm going to do now. How's it going guys? So just out on the bike now. Um, I don't know if you can see it there on the camera, but you know, you can see all the oil getting splattered up uh, on the actual window after you've set off because obviously the oil's cold and it looks a bit like uh, gross to be honest <laughs> um, and it's still the condensation is still there so what it is is like you need to wait um, don't get too worried it's like you need to wait until the uh, oil gets hotter and then the hotter it gets uh, the more clear it gets and then eventually it'll just kind of come off the screen with the condensation so yeah I'm going to take it for a bit of a blast now um, let the engine warm up and by the end of the ride you should see that it's uh, pretty much clear so uh, we'll see how it gets on there guys so as you can see I don't know if you can see actually to be fair because uh, I'm on the top of the bike but all the condensation's gone from the um, uh, the uh, clutch cover there you still got some oil on it but to be honest when it's packed up um, it, it's weird as it kind of cools it goes clear so you don't really uh, notice it to be honest um, so yeah you only have to be riding for about 20 minutes get the oil to a decent heat level um, and then it looked good so yeah crack on with that guys all right guys so got the uh, bike here and it's been for a, a bit of a blast so the um, uh, clutch door warmed up and as you can see the uh, window is clear so it's quite good because once you know even though the oil gets splattered on it once it gets to heat it goes kind of clear once it's sat there so it still looks clean um, and it looks kind of spotless so you can't see any like oil marks or anything in there or condensation and then obviously when you stop it and start it you can see the uh, clutch spinning so I'm gonna do a start up and then you can see it kind of working and then when you kind of drop it into gear and pull in the clutch that it stops spinning and then when you uh, you know let go of the clutch it'll start spinning again so it's pretty slick so i'm just going to uh start it up now give you an idea of what it properly looks like all right so here it goes the uh just start it up Looks very, very cool. Then you know you stop it and then it just stops like that. I'll see if I can put it in gear and then you can see what it's like when you put it in gear. So if I start it up again, hang on. <coughs> Let me just get on and put the side sand up. So you've got it on there. Oop. There we go. So put it in gear. As you can see, it stops. And then, uh, you know, as you let go, you can see it starts to slip. You know, it's like letting go. And then put it back into neutral. And start spinning again. So, looks really cool at the lights, definitely. So that's it guys, so I hope you like my quick uh, look at my video of the Duca bike clay clutch. Um, I'll drop the links in the uh, description so you know where, where I got it from and all the price and stuff like that, but if you've got any questions, give us a shout.